That was really awkward trying to keep that in frame there. <laughs> Two seconds there. Uh, I'll just move the microphone now back to uh, back towards me and away from the camera. Just check if that camera's working. That camera's still working. <laughs> Not as good as when we did it in the garden, though. Uh, I think that squeaky bottle was far far better. <laughs> I was more worried I was going to spill a little bit of liquid across the board here. <laughs> uh, I'm just seeing as well. Uh, you've just reminded me. I never actually got a pen and paper out ready for a day. Oh, hang on. Here, here's the sheet of paper from last time we played. <laughs> yeah, because that was all, all the goblins we wrote down last time, wasn't it? <laughs> right, so I've got that. Uh, pen. Do I have a pen? Does it work? Yes. <laughs> right, let's put that to one side. Okay. Um... We are back now with a, uh, another uh, another deckscape. Uh, so we've done a uh, deckscape uh, time test. We've done the uh, the fate of London that uh, it, it nearly killed us all. <laughs> and today we have a heist in Venice. Now, I just throw those on the bed there. <laughs> this one is slightly different in the setup. Which normally we would open it fresh and you'll know, break the seal. Uh, on the stream however after watching Radha's review uh, last week or the week before um, and because we are playing hundreds of miles apart um, we had to open it up and go through the first 11 cards uh, off stream um, so that we could uh, select our characters because there's information on the back which has to be kept uh, like we're not allowed to show each other from what our characters are so it almost like I prepared this <laughs> Uh, there will be sort of randomised pauses as well tonight because ever since lunchtime my nose has been running like a tap. <laughs> so uh, I have, have my um, toilet roll here <laughs> which I am attempting to insert into my face <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> oh, you got your notebook but no pen roll, T. <laughs> okay, let's... Um, We'll start with this one. Uh, so the first one, there is an actual loose piece of paper in this one, uh, and it's um, the plan, but uh, uh, not to be opened uh, until we're instructed to, as many of the, the bits and bobs here. So the first handful of cards are going to be um, sort of like uh, tutorial uh, sort of things, the similar, similar sort of scenario as what we've, we've gone through in the previous uh, the previous weeks. Um, so let's see. So there we go on the top there saying, you know, don't don't open these if the cards are screwed up. Uh, get somebody else to put them in the thing, uh, which is all fine. Uh, we have Dex, uh, Deskscape, <laughs> Deskscape, Heist in Venice. So I'm just going to discard that first one there at the top. Some of these will probably end up on the floor again like last time. Uh, but let's see. Uh, so this here is, of course, just telling us that, uh, you know, it's, it's a game for one to six players. And hopefully 60 minutes, I think, you know, an hour and a half. <laughs> But uh, after that, it was two hours and thirty-five minutes of torture that we did last time on the uh, the other one. <laughs> uh, but then we got to say it's a co-op uh, game. Uh, we all win together, or we all lose disastrously together. Um, uh, there we go. They're just the same thing as what we've read in the previous ones. There, uh, this is a uh, uh, an escape room style uh, game. So it's a series of puzzles that we have to solve to be able to do you know the various stages. Uh, and here we go. Um, you are uh, master thieves who retired long ago uh, to enjoy the wealth you accumulated uh, over the years and years um, of successful heists. And my nose is now starting to run once again. <laughs> Was that right? I think I should be a hand model. <laughs> <laughs> Just get some close-ups on the closing up cam. <laughs> I hope these cameras are good. I'm having some really, really weirdness with the cameras earlier on. Um, so, fingers crossed, the Brio here doesn't start flickering again. I've put it on a different voltage path, so it should have enough power. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. The, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the amount of power that the Stream Deck and this camera combined with the Wave 3 uh, is absolutely phenomenal. Considering that the Wave 3 is a USB 2.0 device as well. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's see. Uh, one day, uh, you receive a uh, mysterious letter. And here we go. So, um, of course, I'm going to read this a mile away. <laughs> uh, hello, you don't know me. 
but uh, I know you very well. Uh, I'm a private collector who urgently needs your services. Uh, although you have retired, uh, you are still the best. Uh, please take the first flight to Venice. I hope someone, I'd love for someone to pay for me to have the next flight to Venice. <laughs> Uh, what's that there? Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, all, all that casserole fussing. <laughs> She's been a really good girl today. Because <laughs> I've been, uh, been ill, but my hip's been in agony as well today, so I had to come upstairs for a little bit. Uh, that's why after I finished all my work, I sort of like relaxed and played Minecraft for now this afternoon. Uh, Castle was a really, really good girl. She, uh, she's, I left her watching Tintin, and she was quite happy watching <laughs> the cartoons. <laughs> Uh, what was I saying there? Um, so please take the first flight to, uh, to Venice, and here goes my nose dripping again like a tap. <laughs> this might m m make the hour-long thing go to um, the, the two and a half again. <laughs> um, I know you would like to refuse my request, however, should you refuse to help me, I will reveal your identity to the police, and you will be arrested within a few hours. Just a cheery chap. <laughs> So, um, so apparently you have no choice. Um, you uh, pack your stuff and fly straight to Venice. Uh, someone has you in their pocket, uh, hence you must play the game. The next one is flip this card. So this is the bit, that reason that why we had to open the deck in advance. Um, oh, bloody hell, my nose. Why don't I just hold this in my face <laughs> as we're playing? <laughs> Uh, let's see, once you arrive in Venice, uh, a gondola transports you to a, uh, a dark and damp basement. I could be any in Venice, technically, because <laughs> the whole place is sinking, so it's all going to be damp. Uh, see, where you receive more information. Uh, but first, uh, you must introduce ourselves. So the six cards. Let's uh, dispose of that card there. And I will get out the, uh, the six players that we have here. So we've already made our selection of the various, the various players uh, for tonight. No, oh, this is the my nose is getting absolutely ridiculous here. <laughs> so let's see who we can remember. Um, I know I have six and nine. I was given the uh, the arsonist role. I, uh, I I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, I was given the arsonist role and uh, firewall the uh, the. Uh, um, the hacker. <laughs> don't, don't know what would, what would give that impression. <laughs> and who else have we got for everyone else? Um, uh, who's who again? So these are royalty, All right? That makes that actually no. It, it kind of like works out in in order, doesn't it? With the top and bottoms. <laughs> so yeah. And that's completely uh, not straight, but never mind. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, I've got the two characters in the middle. Um, was that Royalty at the front and uh, Chrissy with these ones here. Now, there's information on the back of these that we're not supposed to share. We're supposed to keep it until the appropriate time or we discuss it. Um, when we finish the game, I will reveal the backs of the cards for completeness as uh, sort of sake when we... Um, uh, you know, once 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 we're, once we're actually played the game, uh, I'm assuming though because obviously I've seen the fronts of all the cards. Uh, I'm guessing that these have to form numbers if we push them together, and I'm assuming it's going to make sense later because I'm assuming these two other characters are the two end cards because they've got these blocks. But if you put some of these together in between them, they form numbers. So it's been a, a, a slight clue, possibly, to something else later on. Anyway, let's uh, pop these to one side. I'm going to take my two character cards and place them where I can uh, I can read them. And I'll pop you two guys just off to the side here. And we'll get the main deck uh, back in. So, uh, yep, so again, this is just a basic what I've explained. Uh, you know, so it's uh, divvy up all the different cards. It doesn't matter if people have got more than one, but because there's three of us, it's all right. So flip the card. Uh, let's see. Suddenly a cell phone rings in the room. Um... And it's not a uh, ringtone of any of ours. After a few seconds, you find it in the um, yeah, you find it in the mold, what have you. Um, bring up the other side. Uh, camouflage voice speaks to you. Uh, welcome to Venice. Uh, I will give you a quick explanation of the rules. This is like a tutorial sort of bit that we get before we before we do the main quest. 
So as with previous ones, uh, there's different cards. Some of them are puzzles and some of them are items that we'll keep uh, along the way. Um, and of course, it's just an explanation of those puzzles there. Uh, you can always pause that and read it if you're watching this back on YouTube at a later date. <laughs> uh, what have we got in here? Points to the same say, um, Oh yeah, on the ground there'll be three poker cards. Um, uh, want to see how you deal with uh, an old magic trick. Um, the next card, uh, you play, yeah. So the next card is basically, basically yeah, the, 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 the tutorial. If I get my words out today. <laughs> so what I will use this to cover up the next card. And let's put this on the, uh, the bigger screen. So we can all see it a little bit more clearly. So, uh, the most of the board tells you to shuffle the three cards and arrange them face down. Um, no, which one is... Uh, which is the only ace? So, what do we think? I don't know if anyone else is actually there. <laughs> Hello. Evening. Hello. <laughs> I'm just trying to look at these cards now, and I'm just like, surely there must be something obvious, and I'm not seeing it. The, on the middle one, that's the only one without an extra diagonal in the corners, like next to the clock. Yeah, ju just next to the the little dots there. That's, yeah. uh, that's two dots there, not a single dot. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the only thing that stands out. <laughs> the other thing that stood out for me was that inside the clock, like there's like a shape pattern on the left hand side for the first and second one. There's on the other side, the third one. Yeah, but then it looks like it's just upside down. Yeah, because the, the, the red and the white, like semicircle. circle <clears throat> um, Would be like the, the angles of the clock sort of face. I think that's what it is on the back of there. It's like put that way. As if it's upside down. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy to go if you're cool then. <laughs> so we'll go with the middle one, yeah? Yep. Yep. Flip that one. Uh, Ace is the card in the middle. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's highlighting there the, uh, the the extra the extra dot in the thing there. Uh, and of course the tutorial as well, of course, explains <laughs> that um, if we're, if we make any errors put across, that's going to affect our score. Uh, towards the end. Uh, yep, then we'll press, get rid of that one, get to the next card. Put the plan there. So, yep, so the next one is just the score sheet. This is where we write down the time before we uh, before we begin. Um, right, so where did I put that pen and paper? <laughs> it is uh, 21 43. see how long it takes us to do this one. <laughs> if, it, if it goes beyond two hours, I'm going to call it a night. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. It, it was torture last time. By the time I could, we, yeah. we were all just absolutely shattered by the end of the yeah. one. Just uh, have me cup tea ready. What's that? Just have me cup tea ready. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get, uh, have to get flasks for when we <laughs> put them next to the tables. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, you have to enter the oldest uh, casino in the world in uh, in Venice and steal the one billion euro poker chip. Uh, I have a picture of the uh, the casino uh, and I've developed a uh, detailed plan. Follow the instructions and everything will go smoothly. Um, now we can carefully examine the plan, <coughs> which is this bit here. So. That there, if uh, yeah, it's just in frame. That I assume that is the the poker chip that we're looking for. Okay. Here is the plan. Actually, will the plan fit on the zoomy in page? Yeah, just I'll have to move it as we go. <laughs> uh, just say this plan carefully before you proceed. Uh, you kind of take notes. Um, <laughs> be, uh, <laughs> too, too, too risky to take it with us uh, before starting to solve the puzzles uh, fold it and put it back in the box uh, you will not be allowed to look at it anymore uh, read carefully um, 
because the clock is already ticking. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, cheat the casino out of 100k. <clears throat> uh, deposit the win. Oh, hang on, you're going to be nervous again. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Uh, what was I saying there? Uh, deposit the winnings uh, and use your cards to access the VIP area. My cards, I assume it means the different cards that are in, on our character uh, sheet things here. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got... I've never noticed that <laughs> the, uh, the two I've got got different letters on them. Like, well, one's got a letter, yeah, the other one's got an apostrophe on it. <laughs> I've got two letters, same suit. I have two letters, same suit also. Yeah, I've got uh, an E and an apostrophe, so I don't know what... <laughs> Oh, we'll have to see later. <laughs> I've got an R and a K, both hearts. Uh, both disguised as kings. Uh, a, a P and an O. Yeah, they're both, both, both kings hearts. on this one as well. Yeah, same. King, kings of <clears throat> hearts, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, steal the casino keys from the manager. Uh, the man will be in the, uh, the ballroom. Uh, play the slot machine and win... Uh, the object that I have it's a special yeah, I can't even say what that is it's hidden in the machine anyway <laughs> uh, there's a little map there next to them as well um, enter the ventilation duct from the toilet and exit through the indicated uh, grating so whatever that is is next to like a an N kind of shape yeah let's see uh, cut the glass panel in two uh, download the elevator manual and reach the vault. So we maybe examine the elevator manual before we start doing a heist. <laughs> uh, destroy the uh, the camera, open the uh, the vault, and steal the transparent yellow chip, which is what we're supposed to be on that other picture there. Uh, receive the uh, oh, the, the, the wingsuits uh, hidden among the costumes. Um, Climb up to the roof and uh, glide down to the speedboats. And then there's also a diagram here which shows an outline of somebody's head and two red stars. Ooh. So hopefully that'll make sense as we as we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, and before we go any further, I'm going to tear off another few dozen blue roll pieces. <laughs> Just roll them up and just stick them all up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what have we got here? Um, flip this card and keep it. And it's a picture of the uh, the casino. Pop that on the other one. It doesn't look like there's anything too significant. There's some <laughs> dots and some of the higher levels there. I don't know if that means anything. One of my hints is that you know that the vault where the chip is kept is located on the top floor of the casino? Alright. So, uh, make our way to the top if it gives us the option. Yeah, so we should go up to the... Oh. Uh, ooh, should lift that card there on, on the thing there. This is the cheat card if we get really, <coughs> really stuck. It has uh, backwards notes. <laughs> I'll leave that one there yeah. to one side. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's see. Uh, all right, so there's four decks on this one, uh, it looks like. We have how we split them up on the previous ones. Uh, take the next four cards uh, with the green things without turning them over and arrange them on the table uh, with the... Uh, all right, so... Uh, now read the visible cards. And then, of course, this one here will tell us that we're very bad for uh, turning over this card we weren't told to. <laughs> Got these four here, and uh, I don't know if I can arrange those nicely on the camera the way that it suggests. So we'll just put them in four like we <laughs> like we normally do. Right. Well, I've nudged the whole the whole thing here, haven't I? Well, <laughs> so we have a roulette table, um, deck of cards, a slot machine. And uh, a dice game. So we'll start by looking at number 18. 
Pop this on here. Oh, of course, the green's gone, gone crazy. Uh, Mastermind has bribed the uh, Crippier, who, in uh, in exchange for a couple of winnings, has promised to tell you the uh, the next number that will come up uh, in this ring roulette game. Which number do I bet on? I don't does, know. does the Mastermind have a have a hit <clears throat> on their card or? No, not to do with a. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I could just be missing something completely obvious here, but um, has anyone ever played the uh, this game roulette? Yes. Just in a in a computer game thing. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm guessing it's got to be something to do with the. What's that? Um, there, there, one player. They're reckon, reckoning twenty-seven. We're betting on the ship. Oh got, yeah. Oh the yeah, the yeah. I twenty-seven because we can see it across the middle there. Yeah. So yeah. So we'll uh, we'll go for twenty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. Yeah. Let's flip it over. And what do we get? Yeah, twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we uh, we win that one there. Um, you bet money on red 27. Uh, yep, yeah, they're interested in the center. Spell out 27. Yep, so we've got that one there. We'll discard that one. Go on. A very smart one player. Card 19, if I could pick it up, which apparently I can't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they saw that, but quicker than I did. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got here? Um, so just up the new deck of cards, uh, Chameleon distracts him and makes uh, the fall on the table. Um, among the uh, uh, for the table among the chips. Yeah, <laughs> I'm reading that as a full doc because I'm reading this through the stream. <laughs> the uh, the deck is rigged. Uh, how could you deduce that? I'm assuming there must be a duplicate card somewhere in here. Yeah, that's what my thought was. I also thought the same. Nine. That and it's a tiny, tiny print that looks like a nine. Yeah, there's two. Does that nines one look like too. a nine as well? There. Yeah, nine of clubs. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so we'll go. We'll go with that one there. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, there are two cards with the uh, the nine of clubs. Yeah, success. <laughs> okay. right, let's discard that one before I start sneezing again. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> right. So. Uh, Firewall tampers with the machine so that uh, each row, column, and diagonal um, of seven symbols, uh, you win a thousand euros. Uh, if all the symbols are different, oh, if all the symbols are get a thousand, and a thousand uh, if there <coughs> is at least one symbol that appears twice or more, how many euros have we won? Yeah, it, uh, it, it, uh, it's handy having the, because uh, we've got the, the two cameras set up here. The, the zoom up one in here is a, a C922, and the, the one over here, the, the, the overhead camera, is a uh, the Logitech Brio. Um, somewhere on my uh, Discord, which uh, if everyone covers their ears momentarily. <laughs> that was not the right button. <laughs> <laughs> I will press the next button. <laughs> Uh, somewhere in the tabletop section, uh, there, there is like pictures I've got of uh, of the various setup. <laughs> uh, and a thousand if there's at least one symbol that appears twice or more. So, one, two. We've just got a duplicate in the in a, a row or or whichever. Four. I've got 11 going that way. Now, how many? Out of the way. <laughs> Where are we? 16,000. You reckon it's 16? 
four, five, six, because it has to be seven symbols. So every oh my gosh, every column and every row has seven symbols as well as a uh, diagonal. And if they all have to be different, or it can appear twice, then it means every single row or column is at least going to give you money. Oh. If I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You reckon it's, it's seven, 16? Seven across. Seven downs, so that's 14, and the two diagonals. That'll be 16. If that makes right. any sense. Let's flip it. <laughs> 16. <laughs> Yep, so we've, we've successfully there. Uh, we'll actually get rid of that one there. <laughs> so, oh dear, I'm gonna have to go pick that up. I've dropped, uh, I've dropped some of the cards off the side of the, the side of the desk. Oh, no. it's, it's, all, it's all going very, very well tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, it rolls four dice. Uh, it covers them up. Um, uh, it tells, uh, yeah, tells the uh, Houdini if I can get my words out tonight. <laughs> That the sum of the uh, the faces touching the table uh, is seven. Uh, what is the sum of the four faces uh, on top of the dice? It had to be seven as well, because um, the opposite sides of a dice is always seven. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah. seven, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be seven again. There's some of them facing. So does that mean it would be all ones? Uh, how, how many how many dice has he chucked Double down? There? Four, Four dice. dice, and they all equal seven. So it's got to be seven times four. All right. Yeah, I, I would say that uh, uh, one player, yeah, uh, 21. 28. 28 is 7 times 4. Yeah. Minus the ones that are facing down. Yeah. Wait. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't know where we get that from. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Uh, the sum of the top face is 21. I've noticed this camera's just dropped out of focus. I'll, uh, two seconds, actually. While that card's there, I will f uh, fix that. I had some weird flickering issues with the cameras earlier on there. Um, it's all got a bit weird. <laughs> oh, I see. There we go. Fingers crossed that doesn't fall out of focus again. <laughs> but yeah, 21. Isn't that like a common thing of most of these gambling things? Isn't that what they're... Uh, when we're playing half the card games, it's always like getting 21, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We're now back on to the, uh, the main deck here. So, um... So I'll grab the casino picture so there's no spoilers. Uh, we'll get the, uh, the next camera. So, uh, you must have enough money. Flip this card only if you've answered the four green cards. Well, we've just done that, so that's all right. Yay. Uh, with the money you have just <laughs> won, uh, you pay uh, for access to the VIP area. Uh, behind is a small artificial canal. So, uh, yeah, we've won that one. <laughs> Suppose that and go on to the next one. Uh, what have we got here? What's up there? Yeah, <laughs> having the the, uh, the stripy top. I suppose uh, if the stripes are the other direction, I suppose isn't that the Sunderland team in uh, in the Tide and Weir area? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um... 
about to stop you at the entrance, it asks uh, for the code word. What do you say? I assume that's where our cards come into play on our own. Yeah, because we all got uh, on our, each of our cards. I suppose I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show the tip just to for uh, demonstrate. We're supposed to hide these details, but on the top of our cards, each one of them has a letter. So which letters have we actually got? We'll write them down. Right, um, so I have a P and an O. P O. Uh, I've got an E. An apostrophe. Uh, what does Chrissy have? Chrissy. I'm muted. Okay. <laughs> um, I have. I have an R for Romeo and K for Kilo. Um, poker? That, poker. I was about to say, does that look like it's poker? Just a slightly, <laughs> slightly uh, uh, different. All right, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that because this is a casino after all. Uh, let's flip the card and see what we get. Uh, the code word is poker. Yep, yeah, uh, see there it is. All of our our cards, what have you there? Uh, and also that was also destruction two on the on the the, the plans. Probably just as well because that's the thing that fell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely can't see it but after I knocked it off the table. <laughs> okay, next one. What number card is this? This is card 23. Oh, make a good time today. <laughs> I think, think some so. of them we were probably like overthinking, I think, last time. That was probably what the issue was. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, the bounce lets you through. Uh, you're in and... You can fire... fire yeah, I get my words out tonight. <laughs> Uh, well, I just saw the word chickens. That's the only thing my eyes are focusing on now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but chickens. <laughs> I, I, I need like a dedicated button on the stream deck here that just displays uh, chicken pictures. <laughs> yes, yes. <please> <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Where, where is it? Where? Yeah. Two second intermission. <laughs> um, save up enough points. Uh, on the uh, on the channel, and uh, you could win a collectible card series. <laughs> oh, the the, the, the print quality of these that come back from the manufacturers has been really really good. If you can see that there, um, and on the reverse, so here we've got the, the Castrol card, which is disappearing into the green screen. Uh, the back of every card, uh, they all have the number of which one they are in the series, and each one has a little story about the uh, the chicken in question on the front. Oh, they've got a little stamp at the top there as well. <laughs> little KFC, I made it a stamp. <laughs> there we go. That's available with enough channel points. <laughs> be able to collect the uh, collect the whole set. I'm not quite there for my first one yet. <laughs> if Chrissy would be nice, he would uh, he would buy them for you as a nice present. <laughs> He's not nice. He wants a set to himself. <laughs> mine, oh mine. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Separate the uh, five red cards, five blue cards, and the rest of the deck. All right, so we're splitting up the deck again. I'll just pop the, the hotel picture to one side. So we have a red deck. I'm just going to pick these up. It'll be easier than me trying to like, slide them out. <laughs> right, what do we got then? Uh, I've got that card right in the middle of the display. That's what the issue is. <laughs> right, let's discard that one. So, uh, who is the casino manager? We'll start with card 25. Hey, right, I have a, um, a hint for that. All right. So, the casino manager has a specific dress code. He never wears two garments of the same colour, which goes for his mask, his tie, his shirt, his jacket, his trousers, and his shoes. Okay. So everything's a different colour. Right. So, we're looking for Wally. <laughs> oh. Maybe that's what the guard was because doesn't Wally have his stripes that way? Yeah. I can't see his shoes. Oh, I've seen this one here. I can't see. Uh... It looks. Uh... It looks like he's got. 
Does he have black shoes there? Or is that brown shoe? I can't tell. I'll, I'll hold it right up so I can see it. <laughs> uh, I believe in the light, I think that's black. Mm. I was uh, thinking the guy on the right next to the lady in the dress with the yellow mask on. This one here. But I can't see his feet. Uh, no, not that guy, the guy to her right, holding the glass. Oh, this first fella here. No, 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 the, the guy to the right of the woman, or uh, the pink woman. With oh, the okay, you mean, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 yellow the next, next bit back, yeah. But you can't see his feet, so I can't tell what colour his shoes are. Everything else is a different colour, though. Which, uh, which one's that with the uh, purple, purple pants and red tie from uh, from one player? Doesn't he have the same he, he's got his, Yeah, his mask. shoes and his mask are the same. What about the guy at the very oh. right? Oh no, he's got the same mask and trousers. Is that the same colour? I think the only person. Yeah, hmm. I don't know, it's, it's got green, green mask, yellow jacket, blue uh, thingy. Or unless uh, does the tie, are uh, the tie in the shoes because they're the black. Yeah. Black on, uh, yeah. So yeah, he's cancelled. <laughs> you can't see the shoes of the guy that I pointed out though. What about so. This guy. Yeah. Black. Black. What mm -hmm. colour shoes has he got? He's got the same colour mask and trousers though. Uh, yeah. I think the only person is the guy that I point up. You can't see his shoes. Uh, this, this green one here next to the lady in pink. Yeah, I think so. I think mm. everyone else has got something. Yeah, actually. I see. Yeah. Well, what, what's the worst that could happen? We get across. <laughs> we get across. <laughs> Five minutes right. at a time. That's, uh... It is. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, and I'm just I'm just reading as well on the on the stream because I'm watch, of course I'm watching this in the stream rather than reading the deck that's in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a, another line from the uh, from the uh, from the plan. But yeah, we got the right bloke. So um, is it the never wears two garments the same color. Uh, uh, you cannot uh, can't see issues because the uh, yeah uh, yeah we won that one there. So I mean we swiped his keys. Yeah. I so. so let's go to card 26 and pickpocket. So, managed to extract four keys uh, for the manager's uh, jacket. Uh, you don't know which are useful, uh, so uh, borrow all four for now. Uh, oh, flip this card and keep it. Alright, this is an item card, that's alright. So, there we go. So, we've got the, uh, the four keys. And awesome. it looks like there's a time maybe it's on the uh on like the keychain thing there. I quite a few of that symbol actually. I wonder if maybe it's just a logo of the of the of the place I've that we're, we're robbing, yeah. <laughs> mm. Right, so I'll keep that one there. I'll put it uh, at the top next to the casino -y bits. And we'll see what the uh, the next red card has to say. So the guy becomes suspicious. Uh <laughs> <I> notice <laughs> He looks awfully suspicious. He does, yeah. <laughs> you think he'd be the one Rotherin? <laughs> uh, the guy knows as you say, uh, to get through here, we'll have to uh, research. Um, oh, uh, proceed to the next card. We don't even flip this card, do we not? <laughs> yeah, just proceed to the next card. All right. Okay, I'm just going to put this card on one side because it just seems a bit weird. <laughs> Uh, is that haircut suspicious? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, the vintage slot machine. Uh, each time you press the uh, the red button, the corresponding uh, reel rotates downwards, uh, showing the next symbol. How many times must you press um, at least to win? So it's how okay. many how many are in the in the cycle, and how much of the cycle can we see? 
So it's banana chip, Alan. Um, I'm making a note here. Chip. Melon. Above the banana is the grapes. I mean, grapes is above banana. And above the grapes is the heart. And above the heart is a lemon. Very cut me like round the circle. How many? Yeah. <laughs> <Let me see. laughs> we have fair. We have five for one player. So we won. So it's currently on that. So one, two, three on that one. And then two on that one. So yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. I've got five. Yeah, we're going five, yeah. <clears throat> Three on the left and right. Uh, you need to press fire. Uh, press the button five times. I really can't get my words out tonight, can I? <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. That's the cycle on there. So yeah, we uh, we pull that. Uh, we've won. Hey. Yay! <laughs> Funny old casinos were there uh, this easy. <laughs> so jackpot. Uh, the shop machine like uh, that lights up. Um, uh, let's see, we win a diamond ring. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Um, this card to look at the diamond ring. Uh, I'll keep it and uh, we'll have a later on. Is there any other symbols or anything we can see on that just before I pop it to one side? So sort of a, we're going to have to like count the number of triangles on it or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'll pop that up there with the other bits and bobs. Uh, the next one. Uh, let's see. Oh man, yeah, this this is me. This is the arsonist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, bomb man uh, sticks the bomb. Make a coin. Uh, you, and honestly, you can just pull that off of your hand. Surely, <laughs> just doesn't need that much dynamite, do we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it has a no touching symbol. <laughs> uh, let's see what we've we got there. Anyway. Um, so it extends the fuse around the perimeter uh, and uh, lights the fuse. How many seconds? Now, this is actually a clue on one of mine. So uh, my clue is that I um, don't know how long the fuse is, but the we'd, I at least know that the blue highlighted bit is five seconds. And considering that's a square, it, I would say both sides are five seconds. So that would be 10 seconds in total. If the blue bit, yeah, yeah. Oh, even yeah, though it goes like in a slightly different, like in over bit, it's it's still following the the radius of a square. That one. So that was the easy clue. Really? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, did did have a screwdriver, so break out the dynamite. That, 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 that's definitely <laughs> the yeah the way to go. Definitely. <laughs> like um, there we go. We have ten seconds before hey. an explosive goes off. That would surely wipe out. More than the bathroom, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we love Arsenal on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what we got next here? Now, this was the, uh, if I remember right, this was what was highlighted on the the map we had at the um, at the start. Yes. Uh, see, to get um, in the maintenance room, you must crawl through the uh, the ducks. Uh, which exit do you go through? Well, I would say that one there because it was next to that end shape. And it, it was like on this crossing here, so we'll go with that one. Yeah. And yep. And I just sort out my nose, which is running like a tap. Okay, you know, you know, just like the flowers in the garden, I can just hook myself up like a sprinkler, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was around a dog today and had like a allergic reaction. <laughs> oh, you've been sneezing, uh, sneezing again today. <laughs> yeah. We've all got plague. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, if you had to, yeah, we're, 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 yeah, we've got that one there. So that was all right. So so far, thirty-one cards in of sixty. Is there sixty on these decks? It's about that anyway. And so far, we haven't had a red cross. 
Am I, we're probably <laughs> ma- let's see, what are we at? 50 minutes. So we're not doing two, well, I suppose technically 50, no, less than 50 minutes, isn't it? Actually, it'd be about yeah, half an hour. Started. Yeah, Because we half had like the, the, the tutorial sort of bits and, and listened to me rambling and sneezing at the beginning. <laughs> 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 All right, what we got here next anyway. Uh, let's see, the glass paddle uh, shows ventilation holes. Uh, oh, crazy. Next to the greatest small duct, um, to the end, uh, oh, what's this here? If you have something to cut the glass, um, draw a straight line between the two dots. It's just like a thing like in the movies where they use a diamond, or we're going to use that diamond ring, you reckon, to cut the hole in the glass. Yeah. Okay. Draw a straight line between the two letters, um, You'd think you'd save some dynamite so you can just put it on the glass panel as well. <laughs> yeah, one player just said it. You've got yeah, spare dynamite. Spare dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Um, which letters do we connect? Same number of large holes and small holes. So there are four large holes and one, two, three, four, seven, eight small holes. So you want four aside. So on four thinking O and F maybe um if you draw a line a straight line connecting them I don't know if there's any way to visualize it on your side would that be exactly I oh, know just two it doesn't need to be equal does it it doesn't the glass doesn't need to be equal you just need Okay, yep. Um, you just need a straight line with equal amounts of large and small dots. So that's two so big, then, four small. And then two big, four small on the other side. Oh, we've got another suggestion in chat. Uh, is that I to M? Uh, where's I? I's at the top there. And M's on the side. I don't, yeah, that'd be... I don't think that would work. Oh, you're head up to the screen. <laughs> yeah, the same thing. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking Peter. Whatever. What did I have? To, no, O to F, wasn't it? O to F. Um, o to F. I can make it Which a little have... bit more clearer. Because <laughs> then you have four, four small and two large either side. Yeah, yep, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, that's alright. Just stick this rule back on the draw. Uh, so what did we say there? Um, o to F. O to F. O to F. <laughs> and we used the ring, just, just like before there as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, alright, so we've done that one there. Uh, and we haven't incurred any um, uh, any X's so far. <laughs> <laughs> alright, what's uh, what's my next card here? <laughs> <laughs> No worries, one player, we all make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the moon, uh, you mean blow. Let's see. Now, this corresponds to something that I've got on one of my tickets. Oh. Uh, let's see. Or at least the pattern sort of do, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, which free uh, three digit code to unlock it? So, let's see. Uh, you have to see uh, on my like, ticket here that I'm, uh, I'm reading. Um, you uh, you hack the casino servers and decipher two images, which doesn't really help me. <laughs> but unless, all oh, right, I'm gonna have to draw this out. Hang on. <laughs> uh, use the password to protect the cut right. All right, well, you're gonna have to see this sort of like in the background. <laughs> So, if an arrow that way is that way, that'll be that way, and that'll be, I don't this the right direction, shall find out. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have a thing that way, and which way around would that one be? That's what it would be. Uh, 
I, 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 I can just reorientate the card so it makes more sense to me. <laughs> So Big what do you five. reckon? Five zero three. Oh, right. I realize you, can't, you can't even see what I'm actually doodling down here. Yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah, <laughs> you just see there from the side of the screen. Yeah, right. that's what I heard. Let's pop that yep. there. So, uh, let's have a look. Five or three. Yep. <laughs> the cat's just come up for a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mr. Socks come for his, uh, for his little care. Uh, he hugs. Yeah. Has he had his supper tonight? <laughs> he has. Let's pop that card back there. Actually, I can dispose of this card here. Yeah. I'm just out of curiosity. Oh. I want, uh, the card that we, uh, that I just said go to the next card, I want to see what's on the back. That's why I kept it to one side. I'm just, just out of curiosity. Um, you flip the card, uh, ignoring the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count because we're miles past that place yet. <laughs> <laughs> no suspicious move. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Last card on this section of the deck. Uh, after entering the code, um, you can download the on the elevator manual that would uh, said that in the plan. Um, so keep this and flip it right. So let's see. Uh, all right. So I can watch this here. Uh, the elevator opens using remote control available to all three levels. Uh, wear the mask that's happy but sad. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, Warning, the uh, elevator cameras can detect uh, the mask. And it'll send a text message to the boss. <laughs> Alright, so I'll keep that to one side with all the other bits and bobs that we've got there. So we have a set of keys at the minute. Uh, got the diamond ring. I don't know if we've technically used it up. I, I don't think you use up diamonds that way. Um, oh, here we go. Actually, here's some masks. <laughs> so, what have we got here? Uh, the elevator leads up to the vault, but uh, does not have an external button to open it. Uh, how do we get into the elevator? Well, we have to use a mask. It's a happy but sad. I think it's the second one down. If you turn it upside yeah, down. Yeah, if you turn it upside down, it has a frowny face. Spin that around there. Yeah. Second one down, right? Let's flip that one over. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep, second one down. We won. <laughs> hey. Uh, and yeah, just highlighting the top corner of the instructions for, for that one there. All right, let's pop that one there and see what the next instruction is. Uh, actually, I'll try and keep this card as best as I can to cover up any potential spoilers underneath. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, you're in the elevator and you want to go... Uh, oh, you want to press the, the button to the floor where the vault is located. Which button do we press? Uh, so it's located on the top floor. All right, but... so we may actually have to bring it back out this card, because that's the, the map of the casino. Is there any, like, lettering, or...? Well, it looks like the, uh, the restaurant's down at the bottom there. <laughs> yeah, because we've got the... next to the ward, there's a... Yeah. That's it, that's down there. How many floors we got? Oops. All floors works in the off 13 cabin underneath the simp sign. Uh. Yeah, so I reckon probably C then. Yeah, just uh, C C same, as, uh, same as chat there. <laughs> Going for C. I, C I can't think of anything else that'll be other, other than that, so let's have a look. Oh, I think we've got my first X. <laughs> Oh, no. uh, you must press this button. Uh, Mastermind knows that uh, the vault's on the top floor, which is the 13th floor, and um, the casino picture. So, what would that have been on there, then? Oh, it was the, the B because it's split. Oh, so it's 13th floor. 13th. Uh, now yeah. I see it. Oh. <laughs> 
All right, let's uh, where's our sheet of paper? Press cross of the day. Oh no, Mark one cross. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> all right, let's pop that to one side there. And we've got the next one. And I'll just grab that one there. So, the surveillance circuit. Um, let's see, now that you're uh, next to the vault, uh, you need to act without uh, being disturbed. Which of the five cameras uh, cables do you cut uh, to disable the camera? Now, is this something that corresponds to what I've got on one of my tickets? Oh, I've um, got an X-ray of the um, cameras. Um, it's got like numbers one to five, which does here, and it's got like boxes next to the um, like on each layer. Yeah, I've got uh, it's it's sort of like the numbers one to five sliding up like what we've got on the on the yeah. thing there. Um, and then it goes up into a different circuit pattern. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a uh, row of three each column. Yeah. So. Dynamite. Yeah, use, use the rest of the dynamite. <laughs> I think the only one that actually connects to the camera for me is one. But it goes through like five squares to reach the camera. But I'm not sure what the squares actually mean. Yeah, I don't know if it's like the, the wire's root. Because for me, well, one goes up and then I assume it turns, but it's like obscured on mine. So it looks like it then turns uh, and goes across to above three. But whether or not it goes straight ahead or it goes up after that point, I don't know. So Yeah, it goes straight. So for one goes above two, above three, above four, and then turns above five. And like all the way to the top and then to the right where the camera is but I'm not sure do you have like any arrows or anything for like a circuit break perhaps or no I f I'm, I'm assuming from what you're saying there I must have the the opposing blocks of like what what's uh, uh of what's on yours okay so if I, if I follow one if I, like, like so mind, if I follow one immediately up the bit where I would assume it would turn is blocked off. It's like it's covered up. And then okay. it like goes it goes across. I can see where the line goes across two. And then it's then blocked above three. So I can't see what's in that space. Okay. I mean, I think one is the is what I would say using yeah. my sheet I've got. But I've been wrong already once today. <laughs> <laughs> I would go with one. I mean, I, I, I try like I, I know what I'm supposed to, but I'll try and like roughly illustrate what I'm talking about there on the side there. Uh, yeah. So you got like a different circuit to me. I think. I think what you've got is the yeah. It, it's, like, it's the alternate block. So you've got like like so where I've I've got like the, yeah. the pig blocks that are covered up. You you can see them and, and, and vice I versa. See yeah. Yeah. Okay then. But yeah. So I think one. Yeah. Want to go with one? I, I I'll think just, so. I'll just put my character card there. Grab another tissue. <laughs> I could just weaponize my bloody nose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, the white I cut is number four. Oh, and, and chat got it. <laughs> Where uh, Wolf of the Unknown Fire uh, uh, got it number four, so yeah, that's the two com combined ones there. So we get a second X. <laughs> uh, where's the pen? There it is. Yeah. Pop that one there. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I had no idea what was going next? on. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, the vault door was too solid to be blown up. Obviously not trying hard enough. <laughs> uh, so you have to find the combinations. Uh, how do you rotate the two wheels? I'm assuming I muted the microphone in time there before I sneezed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, how do you rotate the, uh, the two wheels? 
Okay, okay, okay. I have stuff. Yeah, thanks it. for the uh, the follow there. <laughs> Welcome. So I have a uh, a, a clue that says the door of the casino safe is legendary. You've heard it only opens uh, during an eclipse, but the next eclipse is not expected for a year. So I assume you have to turn it so that the sun and the moon are together. Yeah. So that the moon's blocking the sun. So the moon, uh, where is it? So this one here, I have to rotate around so them two there are covering, covering up. Uh, yes. I assume so. Yep, so the sun and the moon overlap. <laughs> Let's pop this one back over there. And what's for next one? I'm not doing too bad tonight. Card 39 already. <laughs> bad. Let's see. Uh, there are 30 boxes in the vault. Um, you have four keys. Let's see, uh, which box uh, do you open with? Which, right. So I'll just slide that across there and we will get our set of keys. From I've got a hint here which says thanks to your mind re mind reading skills, you've learned that this you've learned this secret information. The chip you're looking for is in the vault in a safe de safety deposit box between the first eight. Eh? Hey? It's, it's exactly what I just said. Uh the chip you're looking for is in the vault in a safe deposit box between the first eight. Between the first eight. Like the number eight? That's all it says. Um. I have something that says about I know uh, you know how a door lock works. By inserting a suitable key, the red pistons are pushed upwards and lift the blue pistons. When the bases of the blue pistons line up along the purple line, the key can turn the door opens, but I don't think this is very relevant right now. Yeah, I've got a key one as well. If there's no way to open a box, just touch it with your fingertips and a key will, and a lock will appear. Voila. But I think because we've all got keys here. Um... I'm just assuming it's the diamond key, judging by the fact that there's diamonds in between every single... I don't know. Yeah, up to the up to the diamonds, it's because uh, which unless it's the the eight of diamonds, members. Just when you say that the the eight. So you want to go for eight of diamonds? Christopher? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in between the first eight. Uh, so, yeah, the chip you're looking for in, is in the vault in a safe deposit box between the first eight. In between the first eight? Yeah, between the first eight, yep. Where was the eight actually on the... Eight's on the bottom row. I was just trying to like total them up to see if there's like a thing between eight, but yeah, I was trying to look. No. Like, there's like a, a twenty-eight. I was looking at that there. There's an eight yeah. on the bottom. Can't see an eighteen. Eighteen's bottom. Oh, eighteen's bottom corner. How would you find which one's the first one, though? <laughs> I've got a 13 in chat. A 13 was top, top row for 13. Yeah.
I've got a, I've got no idea on this one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Me neither. No. <laughs> Does this one smell like a chip to you? This one smells like a billion uh, billion euros. <laughs> I'll be I'll be I'll be more useful as actual chips rather than you know a poker chip. Oh vodka. yeah, we, we could we could definitely fish those out. <laughs> <laughs> what was your other key clue? Did you say, Chrissy? Um, if there's no way to open a box, just touch it with your fingertips, and a key and a lock will appear. Okay, so that's probably no use, is it? Probably not for this one. I think you probably have to open the... Open the, open the right box. Yeah. So would it well, be... We assume that we're half right by the diamond key. Like like you said, because it's got all the diamonds between each, yeah. each box. And in between the first eight... Yeah, I'm not sure, but if you look at my card, Raven, because I can't actually zoom in on this, I don't know if there's any images on the actual. Which, it's got uh, like a card. Which one of your cards is is it, is it on? Houdini. Houdini, right. Uh, oh, crikey, I couldn't zoom in on that either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sort of like briefly show it there. Search by box uh, between the first eight. No, I don't think that's anything. No, to no either. I've, I've not seen anything like. Clearer. There's nothing yeah. that's. There's nothing that's popping out like when you're like phys looking at the physical, the physical card. Um, We're just gonna go for eight, maybe. <laughs> that or uh, we could look at the hint card. Sure, let's use the hint card. I know, let's see what we got. I've costed everyone too many X's already. <laughs> What number card is this again? 39. Uh, 39. Oh, crikey, it's all written in. Look at the centre of the numbers indicated. That's what the clue is. Oh, so maybe it's like 19 or... 20 or... Did it melt the boxes okay. open? <laughs> I, I definitely agree. Use fire. <laughs> because it says the safety is um, between the first eight. And the difference between 19 is eight. And the key is between one and nine. Or two and zero. So which I think it could... for that? <sighs> oh, I'm, I'm lost now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no thinking. I'm thinking 19 because the difference between them is eight. But at the same time, I've already costed you guys two X's, so I'm feeling <laughs> like I'm dragging the team down now. <laughs> okay, let's try for 19 then. What was 19? You said there, wasn't it? Yeah, 19. 17. Got the diamond key. Who really between the first eight? And near 17 is right in the middle of those boxes. The diamond symbol is shown over there. What? What do you mean between the first eight? I'm still not sure on this one either. <laughs> it's just a... Uh... Oh, because <laughs> they'll make a round. Yeah, make eight. Oh. Between around the, the number 17 are the numbers 1 to 8 oh, <laughs> oh. oh well <laughs> uh, what's our next card then can we win this one <laughs> for goodness sake how many crosses are that now 3 uh, yeah 3 crosses I can't remember what the penalty is for uh, per cross I think it's um, 5 minutes isn't it? is it 5 minutes <laughs> Let's see, yeah, uh, what we've we got here then. Uh, in the box you find the chip where uh chip you're looking for. Uh, as well have a lot of money. Uh if you want to steal the million euros or or not. After choosing um uh whether to steal the million, uh flip this card uh and look at the chip. Uh keep it, it may be useful. 
uh, proceed to the next card. So we've got the we've got the uh, the money. <laughs> we want to steal the money. Yeah. <laughs> if you have chosen to steal one million euros, mark X. I assume that'll probably lead to disaster. <laughs> do, do, do you want to steal it or not? I think we've already made the choice to steal it, so I think we have to go with it now. You you, you want to <laughs> go with the with, with the extra money that is. I think so. I think because we had to take it, we, I think we had to make the decision before we flipped the card. So. All right. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's just it was uh, it, it, it's it's uh, it's it's tick the box if you if you want to uh, if you want to take the extra. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we'll, we'll imagine that we've ticked it because we're, we're not. Uh, I'm trying not to damage the set so that it could be given away at some point. But I'll put. Uh, <laughs> I'll put a tick next to our little sheet here. <laughs> all right. I'll pop that with all the other. It's the bobs that we have at the top there. Right, so the next card. Oh, nearly picked up too many cards. <laughs> the next one here. Uh, who designed security systems like this? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not all close behind you. Um, <laughs> the alarms. Uh, which button do you press to deactivate the alarm? Uh, is this on any of our clue sheets? No, it's definitely not on the ones I've got. <laughs> Nothing on mine either. What about the power off button? <laughs> yeah, it could you know, be that simple. One yeah. of them looks like a power off button. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, just uh, <laughs> just that one just there. Oh, I'll, I'll go with that. <laughs> All right, so if I grab hold of the card. Yep, <laughs> press the universal power off button. <laughs> there we go, success. Ooh, it's the, like the, the, the discard pile is on the verge of falling onto the ground any moment. <laughs> uh, let's see, what have we got here then? Um, you're trapped inside the vault, uh, but Bobber Man has an idea. Uh, right, I have a little circuit diagram here. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, by creating a short circuit for the inside the door will open, where will you place the gold? Uh, the gold plate that can took the electricity. So my clue is, um, uh, you know that in order to cause a short circuit, uh, you have to establish a connection between the uh, the cables that the, um, the plus and minus of the same battery is connected. So it probably be easier. I just I'll, I'll, I'll just show the little diagram there. So we have to place something across the points to short it out. I'll just pop that there. <laughs> we have one little gold platey bit. It's hard, uh, hard to describe in chat yet. <laughs> uh, right, where's my pen? Uh, what, what have we got there? Uh, just, uh, just above the the right battery. Um, where it turns left. So across, bridging across these two bits here. Are we? Uh, are we looking at? Yeah. Let's see, where does that connect? Yeah, it goes goes back down there, back into the uh, back into the same battery. Well, the roof over there, but yeah, that. That one goes. That one goes into there. I 
cough it very well, so I have a soft. Uh, you reckon that would be all right? Completely lost, <laughs> yeah, I reckon so. All right, yeah. let's flip it over. Oops, if I can get a grip on the card. And uh, yep, that's the spot. <laughs> so successfully opened that one. Right, I'll just dispose of these cards. Out knocking the deck onto the ground. <laughs> okay, so what we've got here. Uh, you don't expect the, the alarm to start immediately, uh, but the plan must continue. Uh, now, now even faster. Oh, great. <laughs> don't escape. Uh, you still have to... Uh, Recover the six wind, uh, wingsuits from the dressing room. Uh, steal the badge from the manager's office. Uh, uh, oh, use it to access the roof. Uh, dive into there and glide down to the speedboat that awaits us. Uh, let's see, flip the card. Where is about to go wrong? <laughs> uh, separate the three pink cards, three brown cards, and then the rest of the deck. Right, I'll just slide these uh, bits and bobs of junk that we're accumulating all over here. Actually, it'd be easier if I just hold them hold them over here rather than stretching a mile out. There we go. Uh, I'll just dispose of that card there. It's just it's it's it's, it's uh, the way these cards are at the end of the desk. Is you know, you know those like machines where you put the the uh, like the ten P's in and it slowly pushes them out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what it's that's what it's going like. Uh, so let's see. So card forty four. Uh, the dressing room. Uh, you arrive at the dressing room, but the door is locked. Uh, all four keys uh, that you have fit the lock, but which one opens it? Uh, right. Hey. Where's the keys? Here we go. Did, uh, did you say that you had something to do with a lock on one of your uh, tickets? Yes. You know how a door lock works? By inserting a suitable key, the red pistons are pushed upwards and lift the blue pistons. When the bases of the blue pistons line up along the purple line, the key can turn and the door opens. So, we need the... Um, uh... well, the third one is fine, so it needs gap. So yeah, I'm going to go with the heart as well, I think. Yeah, because if you're pushing it all the way, this end pin is like a low pin and then you've got immediately it's all the way to the like the core of it and that's yeah right with that because you don't want the yeah yeah because yeah that that would be it there because it'd be at the shear line then wouldn't it yeah yeah i sit in the shed with me lock picking things there, and i, I practice all these sort of things you think i would know what the terms are <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go with the heart also go with the heart yeah right let's yeah. uh flip it over and uh, yep, we've got the uh, hard key unlocks it. Uh, yep, so yeah, the mechanism there, yep. Let's pop the keys back down because we still have some more keys. Dispose of that one. Uh, next one is stage costumes. So, uh, there are seven costumes in the dressing room. Um, they're all suitable for, uh, for your purpose, except for one. Which one of the six costumes... Oh, sorry, which are the six costumes that you wear? So one of these is the odd one out. Okay. So, uh, I have six temporary tattoos to help me remember the costumes I need to escape without being caught. So the first one is a pirate symbol, which I assume goes to the parrot. Yep. Second one is a set of fangs, which is the vampire. Oh yeah, yeah, vampire. Yeah. The third one is a person lifting a car, which I assume is a superhero. Yep. The fourth one is a uh, fire, which I assume is the dragon. Yep. Uh, the fifth one is an acorn, which I assume is the squirrel. Yep. And then the Just sixth leaves. one is a microphone, which would be Elvis. Elvis, yeah. Which would so... leave just the spaceman. Yeah, space bands the odd one out. Let's see. Yep, the astronaut is the um, uh, is the odd one out. Also, the only one that doesn't have wings there. Yeah, as the person pointed out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I'm just, just really about with the Right, so next ticket. Ooh, they're really, they're, they're, they're gonna go any second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> Put that the wrong way for a second there. Uh... Yeah, that looks good. As a kitten come to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just moving around. <laughs> <laughs> Casserole spent loads of time on my shoulder this morning. She didn't want to play on the grass. She just stuck herself into my neck. <laughs> She's a good little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've missed me today. <laughs> <laughs> you've been snoozing all day, have you? Oh, I've been out. <laughs> I've been playing out. <laughs> yeah. Uh see what we've got there. Let's hope they uh, do not catch us because uh, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like lined at the prison dress like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, flip this card uh, to wear the costumes now um, and read the... Okay. So there we go. We're all, we're all wearing our suits. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay. I'll keep that one because I assume that's the card that we need to keep. So the next card is, um, in order to open the safe, you must first join forces to act. Yeah, this, this, this suggested what I was saying at the start, these symbols here. Um, what active team, uh, what's the five digits to open the safe? So I just have to jiggle everything around so that we can see it. So I'll pop these cards here. I can do this without knocking everything down. So, on each one of our player cards, you can see there, if I just get that to the edge of the frame, <laughs> they each have these yellow markers. And combined, They're uh, going to form some numbers. I'm assuming that Chameleon and... Actually, what's, what's that number there? Number 8 and number 6 are at either end. So the question is now, what order do we place the, the other cards in? Because you can get quite a few combinations, I think, out of each of uh, each of them anyway. Because I mean, that would form an eight there. Uh, we get a six. We combine them two. So, is there any sort of like numerical pattern that would put these in a in a correct order? Oop, just move those up a smidge more. The six, five, and ten. Will be five digits, though, isn't it? Uh, and then it? we'll see what's. So, what do we get there? So, we get an eight, a five. It looks like the start of a two or a six. No, not a six. Uh, right, that card go together because that's not doesn't form a number. So what does that give us? Oh no, it is just managing to be on screen. <laughs> so what's that? An eight, five, two. What's eight, five, uh, two? Uh, oh, actually no, that that doesn't work. Th those no, two yeah. next to each other, no, because there's uh, there's no connecting line. Swap these two over. Because if we do that with these two, it's the same same scenario because that just forms a they're not connected or either of those with those two on that mm. that way around. So maybe that first connection's not right. Is there anything else that might fit? 
after the first one. Uh, we get a six. If we could buy those two. Okay. I try to think if there's any sort of like pattern. If if six and eight have to be at either end, does that follow any sort of? Uh, what have you got there? Uh, six, five, uh, nine, uh, ten, seven, and eight. Right, what does this give us? Two seconds, I get a little bit of tissue. <laughs> That's, uh, eight, five, five, two. And I can't see what that last one is. That's three. Uh, Eight, five, five, two, yeah. three. That works. Let's just write that one down there. So, what's that? Eight, five, five. Uh, was that two, three? Yeah. Alright, let's see what we get. Move the uh, combination back up. Eight, five five two three. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> right, pop that one there. Right, I'll just quickly reset all of this stuff on the desk. Let's get a bigger table for this. Right, so uh, next one. Uh, safe to use a box with letters and symbols. Um, what if not you hear that there is something inside, but there is uh, no hinge openings? Uh, how do you open it without damaging it? Well, it looks like a keyhole at the top there. <laughs> is it just this one where this... There's no way to open a box, just touch it with your fingertips and a key and a lock will appear. So maybe just click on the apparent lock and get a key. Yeah, so we, we tap up there and the magic happens. Let's have a look. Covering the... Uh... Yeah, so yeah, we tap on the box, so we've covered that and we've got a lock and key. Yeah. By magic. <laughs> Alright, so we're successful on that one, and card 49, we're, all, we're almost at the gate. <laughs> Let's see, uh, in the box you find the manager's badge, uh, which we need that one to uh, access the roof. Uh, Alright, so yeah, flip this card and keep it. Now wasn't there something, it looks like it combines with something Dogs. else, because yeah. there was something on the plan at the very start that showed um, like combining something so I don't know if we have anything in our inventory that we can combine but we'll keep that to one side for now so now we're down to the last the last five, uh, sorry the last ten cards technically nine because the final cards are advert for the next game <laughs> alright laser field uh, surely we can use the explosives on here <laughs> let's see in order to overcome the, uh, the lasers unscathed um, you stood at the positions of the beam. How many uh, laser beams are there in the corridor? Six, 16 and 17. I want to say 18. Judging by counting how many of the holes are on one side of the wall plus the two that are just going off the side. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, 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 for a second I had 17, but I didn't see the one at the very, very bottom there. So yeah, 18. <laughs> yep, there's 18 lasers. Yeah. That one there, so what's the next one? The alarm floor. Anyway, I've seen this near uh, Jonesville. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do, Venice and Atlantis, so are we going to have to uh, spell these ones? So, 
the exit's right in front of you, but uh, the next step, um, on the wrong tile, uh, we're going to set the alarm off. Uh, which tiles do you walk uh, to reach the other, other end of the corridor? So... Try to see if there's like any letters that correspond to um like the the, the letters that I've got like the stars on, but on the on the ground. There's no M's at all on there. <gasps> yeah. Um at the end of the corridor there, there's like stars on the side of the uh I don't know, that's relevant now. Wall run just like a Titanfall. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be continuing the story on on uh, on Monday. Yeah, the middle roads uh, roll spells Las Vegas. Oh, it does. You just go straight out the middle. What's that called? The manager's card up to... Yeah, there's the stars at the end. I don't know if that's useful now or if it's useful for the next. Yeah, you can just see it there. It's probably the next. I just next see the card. next card that I've just turned to put this card back. I think that's the next puzzle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Las Vegas up the middle. Yep, so we'll, we'll, we'll go straight up the middle. Yes. What was that? There we go, we walk along the Las Vegas up the middle there. Yeah. That there. And I'll grab another tissue before we get the next card. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, so we'll put this one in advance because we, we, we already kind of know where this one's going. <laughs> Uh, let's see, you insert the um, manager's band into the reader. Uh, the gate does not open. Uh, you must enter the two digit code. So, how is that going to go? Or do I have to hold it at the right magnification? Let's see if I can get this on camera. <laughs> Move it down. Three, two. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yep. Has she fallen asleep in the other room? No. <laughs> nice to hear. Just... <laughs> you haven't said yep. anything for like 10 minutes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Three, two. Uh, so, yep, so we enter the, uh, the two digits uh, the manager's thing and um, the plan contained that information because it showed the uh, showed the little, uh, the little stars there. All right, let's pop that one on the pile. I'll put the manager's card back in the finger magic. Uh, what's our next one? Optical recognition. Uh, see, the door opens um, but the webcam recognises the manager's eyes. Oh, we should have amputated it, shouldn't we? Like the you know the beginning of um, Angels and Demons. <laughs> well, his eyes were green, a very distinctive green. So whoever has green eyes. All right. Oh gosh. Uh... Uh, let's look at my characters. I think mine are brown and blue. Mine look like brown and yellow. Yeah, mine are. Uh... Brown and brown. Actually, no, what purple movies? Yeah, that the, the uh, firewall is definitely like a purpley eyes. Well, well so I'm just still got the man manager's there. card there. Where's the manager's card? Let's see. Let me yeah, yeah, try and move it like right up to the lens so we get like. 
Definitely like a greeny colour, aren't they? Yeah, I'm just going to quickly scan through our, our character card to see if I can see which is going to be a close up match. Unless we have to, like, one person holds one eye and one holds the other. <laughs> like, side by side. <laughs> So, possibility. Not sure. Where's it more yellow, I think? No, that's definitely not the right. <laughs> no. Yeah, the brown ones. His eyes are like completely black. And his eyes look really badly bloodshot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it must be hers then. It's the closest colour, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll go. Want to go with that one then? Yeah. Oh, I suppose so. All right, let's. Uh, then what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was there. Uh, the mastermind has blue eyes. Oh. It was in the plan. Looking through the chip, uh, it distorts the colour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, where's the pen? <laughs> I didn't even think about the chip. Uh, there was a bit on the. I, 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 I've grabbed the plan, but it's, it's it's falling down the back. It's behind all the tripods. <laughs> oh. All right, let's pop that to one side. So put his card there. Put that in the discard pile. Right, what have we got here? Oh, before I slide down my chair again. Uh, let's see, from here you get to the roof, um, certainly swarm of guards, uh, only chances to escape, reach the ledge and fly over the lagoon in, in our wingsuits. Um, if you have the wingsuits, flip this card, otherwise focus on the previous cards. We couldn't get this far without them. <laughs> <laughs> we have the wingsuits. Yep. <laughs> let's see, um... Roof swarms with guards. Uh, take the next four cards and place them as shown. Um, ooh, it's going to cause a mess, isn't it? <laughs> right, so four cards. One, two, three, and four. To slide the other one to the side for the minute. So we just have the numbers of these cards. Just, uh, just so I can quickly read it there. of a sneeze and fit there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully I managed to mute that in time. <laughs> yep. So my hand was like jiggling on top of the controls of a sneeze. <laughs> right, well, what were we talking about? <laughs> uh, if you don't have the wingsuits, uh, put the next four cards back in the deck and uh, put them where we do have the wingsuits. Um... All right, so what do we do this one there? Take. When you reach the square along the edge of the, the roof, flip the corresponding card and fly away. It says their line of sight. How long is their line of sight? Um, so I've got a card here. So the guard dogs can see one block every, like around them, including um, diagonals. The CCTV can see uh, two blocks either side plus the one it's facing at diagonally. Um, and the security guard can see uh, four blocks in front of him. Can you, can you, sorry, repeat this? I can just write them down. So the guard uh, dog is one block in every direction. Yeah, including diagonals. Yeah. Uh, security camera is... Um, Basically, like a triangle, but it can see one block it the way it's facing and two either side of that. Right, like a little, little cone sort of thing, yeah. Yeah, like a little cone. And a security guard can see um, four blocks ahead of him, 
like excluding the one he's standing on. So five in total, including the one he's standing on. Straight goes up a smidge more. <laughs> so we start on the the ladder in the middle there, all the stairs. Yeah, we just need the cardboard, uh, the cardboard box to uh, to hide from the guards. Uh, <laughs> one player. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that in years. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing we've got to go behind the security camera on the right hand side. What makes you think that? Because. There's only two ways we can go in, and one of them's on the security. Oh no, we're on the ladder. Duh, sorry. Yeah, we're on the ladder. So we so just need to get to the edge of the roof somewhere. Yeah, so we're, oh. we're here where we're starting off from. Yeah, uh, okay. Let's reach the roof. I want to make notes on the cards, really. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see what. I take a screenshot and um... <laughs> quickly, to, quickly chuck it at the paint uh, and draw a line yeah. on it. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Uh... <laughs> you got it up on uh, up on Photoshop as well. <laughs> I've, just, I've got like OBS and I'm using my pen on the screen to try. <laughs> So, guard dogs are one block around. The with the guard, is it the blocks directly in front of him, or, or, yeah, or is it like the, the yeah, just, just like the one the one line? Yeah. Yeah, the, the top left, I don't think there's any way that we could have used that one, yeah. Too crowded, because the, the, the dogs give it too much of a radius. Hmm. But we're going with the bottom ones. Go there. That just... Uh... See, we're, we're, uh, I've put it in the wrong screen here. So, can we go like, along is... here? Down here, babies. Oh, no, hang on. I forgot this guard here. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> so, with that, then, get around there. Get across there. So, could you exit from the bottom here? I think yes, I figured out a up. path um, that goes off the right hand side to above that right hand security camera. If you uh, up the up the top here. No, the one by the um the the front entrance thing. Right on the oh, right hand over side. Here. Uh, We're going to wait like five yeah. seconds for the street to catch up. <laughs> so, do you want me to like direction and then you like follow it? See if this makes any sense to you. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try. <laughs> I mean, from the ladder, if you go the block just to the left of it. The block just to the left. And then you go down one, two, three. One, two, three, right. And then left one. Left and one then down. Here. And then down one, two, three, 
four. Four, it's all right next to the guard almost. Yeah, so diagonal yeah, the guard. Just, yeah, right. just diagonal from the guard, yeah. And then right one. That you'd be hit this camera then. No, you wouldn't. Yeah. Oh. Uh, thank you, JD. Oh. JD's just extended his uh, his uh, <laughs> subscription there. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, JD. Uh, How would we be in with the security camera? Because it's only the little yeah. cone around the front, isn't it? Yeah, but it's facing. It's facing the diagonal, and then it's either side of the diagonal, isn't it? Yeah, two blocks diagonal. So if we move right that one, we'll hit the second block of the camera. Two blocks diagonal. Hey, I'm so confused now. I have I thought it was just a little cone going around a little triangle. No, it's so a two... Three blocks it, total. No, it's a five block total. Oh. So two across, two down, and one diagonal. Oh, well, then I need to redo this. <coughs> what I'll do is... So that we can all see, <laughs> we can see the shape, the shape of the things. Oh. Uh, I, I, I thought it was just like the immediate squares, but uh, it's, it's the extra squares. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Let's pop that down for a second. Get another tissue. <laughs> That's annoying. Yes, yeah, so I think he was on the correct path anyway, Royalty. But. Sure. I'll have to, uh, redo my map here. One, two, three, four, five. But I think the square we've got to go to, or the two squares, is the very top left corner from what I've got. But. Four yeah, because you can go down one more, like one player said. So you're next to the guard on the left hand side. Because it's uh, sorry, uh, back 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 down here where we were before. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then you could do can one, we, two. Can we like? Is that? Oh, uh, where does that camera see from there again? Oh wait, but once you've passed over the thing, you flip it, don't you? Or is that...? Yeah, well, once we choose which one of the four cards, we flip it to see whether or not we've jumped off the right side of the building. Oh, right. Oh, I'm drawing this wrong again. And then, so you've reached, like, the edge of the square, like, where the security guard and the dog, like, line up. Uh, that's, uh, down the, down the bottom here, is that what you're saying? Uh, other one, so, uh... Oh, there's sorry, Still this card over here. Right. Uh, I should wait for the screen to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> right, orange for the man. There's apparently a way I can change it from like the, the variable 5 to 30 second delay. I can, apparently I can get it down to um, uh, to like one second now. <laughs> I, have, I haven't gone through the settings yet. <laughs> <laughs> I should jump for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you tell, I'm just going to put it in members chat, my little image there. Hang on. So I'll let everyone see it. I was drawing cool. the things wrong. Um. Um. So where uh, one player's got oh where was it there again? Uh, top left. So we're going to uh, on exit on this card. I can. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll loop back up and come up to the top. What? We can't remember the squares as we go here, so Hold on there. I don't know how that's, that's too close to my head. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, then get up here and then go go up this way and get around them. Can we go past that way? Uh, yeah, looking at that bit on there. Yes, yeah, so then we can come back up here and exit on the on the top one. Because this card has no peripheral vision. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right behind that very top left guard. That's why I've got two. Yeah. Uh, uh, so we're gonna go for card fifty six. Fifty five. Oh. Sorry. Uh, oh, I. <laughs> fifty five, even. <laughs> right. A few seconds. Anyone want to change their mind? I'm happy. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm gonna flip it over and I'll chuck it on the on the zoom in screen so we can see. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> flying over Venice, uh, ending A. Oh, sorry. Oh, so there must be more. I thought there was more cards. Oh, there is more cards. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll assess those in a minute. <laughs> um, you jump off the ledge uh, just before the guards grab you. Um, how how they didn't see this troop of six people running around the uh, the roof? <laughs> Wear costumes with like guards patrolling it. <laughs> I don't know how, how to, where's the card? Oh man. Yeah, I mean, I mean look, look at the clip of them. These guards need to be sacked. <laughs> uh, uh, what was I saying there? Uh, you glide over the uh, lagoon um, to a spoon, uh, speedboat that awaits you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, uh, one place, just just uh, you know, uh, uh, another night in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> if we were in Venice, <laughs> I feel uh, slightly more redeemed now. Two of the X's are gone, so <laughs> <laughs> delete two of the X's from your score sheet. So that leaves us with two X's. Oh, of course, because we've got the scoring cards to do. So, uh, right, I'll, I'll leave those cards there, just in the middle, just for a minute, and we will see now because it says to go to card fifty-nine. So, let's see what card fifty-nine says. This is a you know this is the most messiest one of these games has been. This if I pull this camera out at the end, you'll see this desk is just a catastrophe right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully next week will be a lot tidier. <laughs> uh, let's see, fifty nine uh, mission complete. Uh, flip this card after you've chosen uh, one of the four rooftops, um, and you have to read the uh, back of your chosen card. Well, yeah, we've, we've done that. So flip this card. Uh, let's see, final grade. Oh, we need to write down the time, don't we? So, the time now is 23. Uh, 23. <laughs> so, I think that took us in the 90 minute range, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that dead on. No. Yeah. One hour 40. One hour 40. Had... So, 100 minutes. Uh yeah, 100 minutes. <laughs> so if you stole the loot, uh, you end up in jail. And we chose to steal the loot, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We're, we're all in the clink. <laughs> hey. Uh, what was the point? So we had it in less than an hour. Uh, greatest heist ever. Uh, if you stole the loot, you're rich. Um, you, uh, you escape, but uh, you're wanted by the authorities. Uh, if you stole the loot, you're rich. Uh, but because we took the <laughs> yeah we're, 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 we took the extra loot, so now we're all we're all the nick. Uh, <laughs> it was the right. house, otherwise you were free. But uh, uh, now you're no longer no longer considered the best if we take it even longer. So we've had a bit like every time that we spent the last time. <laughs> right, let's uh, chuck our score sheet on the ground, and uh, the last card is the advert, of course, for the next game. There. So the next one in the series is El Dorado. Uh, which will be in the the week that has the first of the month of next month <laughs> when we uh, when we get onto the next one. Uh, and on the back, of course, there is just the warning. So let's have a little scan through some of the cards that we may have we may have missed, just out of curiosity, just to see uh, what was on them. So if we had jumped off the other the other uh, cards there, what would we have uh, what would we have gone? So ending B, D, and C. Uh, two guards capture you. Yep, so that, that, that ended well. <laughs> right. 
Uh, so you jump on there just before the guards can grab you, uh, but they still manage to snatch uh, your identity documents uh, from your pocket. So we'll be knackered on that one there. Um, <laughs> dog bites one of you, <laughs> and the guard uh, hurts another. Uh, he saw your face and somehow manages uh, to free yourself and escape with the ski boat. <laughs> right. So what I'll do now as well, though, uh, each of the character cards, we will just simply we'll cycle through those just for completion's sake, uh, so that we can uh, we can say we've seen all of them. So, got Firewall's card there, and uh, next we have the Chameleon with their clues. We have uh, that one there that I have no idea how to pronounce each time it's come up. <laughs> and, oh, is that as in uh, Round the World Thirty Days? I've never seen it written down. Okay. <laughs> Actually, there's a, um, there's, there's a game with the same name. Like an <laughs> art, art inspired game. Uh, so, yeah, but, but Master Criminals carry yeah, their passports in their pocket. It's, it's, it's sort of like the. Um, was it on stream or was it when we were, uh, like afterwards or something? The other week when I was telling you about when I was at the Cisco Academy, um, everyone thought that I was a hitman because of the, uh, the, the long jacket that I used to wear. <laughs> You know, on, on one week because I'd been to um uh I'd been like over to the Alps. I still have my passport in my pocket. <laughs> so the photos I was a hit man ready to run. It's got the uh the bomber man. And oops. Oh on the back. That's the clues for the bomber man. And finally, the mastermind. And the clues on the back for the mastermind. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I think that one was a uh, a lot better than the than the previous one, the the uh, the London one. Yeah. Uh, let's just tidy up some of this mess here before we before we proceed. Uh, I just reach over. So that one was uh, Deckscape uh, Heist in Venice. Uh, as I said, we'll be back with the uh, the next one of these in the series uh, next month, which our week happens to correspond having the first of the next month in it uh, I'm not sure um, next Thursday for random uh, random games now this isn't going to be in focus is it <laughs> we're going to do our first Lego stream and we have still sealed in the box Lego Wally <laughs> Wally <laughs> I'm very uh, excited about that yeah, so um, I'm going to rearrange the cameras for that one. So I'll have like I'll have the overhead camera, but I think the, the closely up cam, I'll probably maybe put that sideways. Um, just because if I put it sideways, I won't have to move its clamping arm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one is uh, this one is next week, and then the following week, because I rejiggled the schedule. Um, we are going to play Sunset Over Water, which is a really nice. Uh, solo game as well yeah the artwork in this is really really nice once we uh once we get into it i think that the packaging on the box as well i really like the way they've done the done that on here as well but here we go we have a little patent on the postcards as well like that. <laughs> that's that's oh, for a couple of weeks time but uh we've been playing this one there uh, since we got it last week uh originally it was going to be next week but i'm too excited to do the lego stream so i swapped the weeks over <laughs> But yeah, those are for uh, oh, ah, I'm sliding off my chair again. <laughs> those are for uh, the next couple of weeks there. Uh, I don't know where uh, it's, it's still sealed. This one, it's still got the. Uh, I've, I've never never got around to opening it because I was going to do a stop motion animation of building it, but I just never got around to them, unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, yep, good work, fellow criminals from uh, from one player there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Uh, ooh, yeah, um, thank you. Great help there, one player. <laughs> Got us through a lot. I think it's nice to have extra help. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, I don't know if the other fellow was also in there because there was some, somebody had a wolf in their name. I don't know if they're still hiding in the uh, hiding in the chat. Oh. And, um, oh. and JD as well. And the squeaky bottle king is somewhere in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it another squeaky bottle for the subscription. Of course, that doesn't come through on the Discord call, does it? No, no. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, tomorrow night is the Wind Waker, isn't it? 
So uh, hopefully yeah. um, we'll have a better game than last week because uh, I think it was just because, uh, as I said last uh, last week for that whole weekend, my head was absolutely pounding. So um, uh, fingers crossed we have a better a better one this uh, uh, this week. <laughs> I don't think we're technically not that far from the end of the game, so two to three streams of, on it, I think we'll probably finish it. Um, anyway, let's press the magical button so Chrissy can get his bonus eggs. <laughs> I need them all. <laughs> He's to collect those cards. <laughs> He's got enough to buy out the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to put a... Um, uh, another one in. I, I was just gonna like just set it as straight two hundred uh, for the whole set in one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was gonna do it today, but I uh, just, just just ran out of time again today. But uh, yeah, the collectible, collectible cards are available. <laughs> uh, right, what have we got here? So there's only one person online that's uh, that I follow, and that's Agri Joe. So I'll send you over to there. Okay. So where? Uh, <laughs> No jam band tonight. <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> I forgot there. Uh, yesterday, um, uh, Chrissy, uh, it was like because uh, I, I watched like he streamed through for another couple of hours uh, whilst he was playing farming sim, and oh, yeah, um, yeah uh, and I was like uh, chatting with him. He, uh, he, 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 he asked like if, uh, if 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 you were uh, like still in the chat thing or if you if you like were away, and. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I was like on my way out and uh, just the last words I heard uh, I, uh, he says I hope she's doing alright uh, Chrissy <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, that, that gave us a good laugh before I went to bed <laughs> anyway um, thanks for watching everybody uh, I'll send you over to Angry Joe so you'll get your bonus eggs um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time have a good night everyone Thank you for joining me today. If you are enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favourite and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.